Hi, I'm Phil from Hook Deck. In this video, we're going to walk through Superhooks. Superhooks is a Next.js template that demonstrates how to register URLs for callbacks and make outbound webhook requests within a Next.js application. Superbase is used for database and authentication. Let's dive in. As you'd expect, the code for Superhooks is on GitHub. It has a highly permissible MIT license. By all means, drop me a note if you've got any questions. And because the code's on GitHub, you can fork it and, and use that as a base, or you can just copy and paste the code that, that you want to add outbound webhooks to your Next.js application. Once you're running the application, it has sign up and sign in functionality powered by Superbase Auth. You can customize that as you like. It is a template and Superbase Auth has a number of configuration options. Once you log in, the first thing you'll probably see is a secret. This can be copied and used to validate that the webhooks received are indeed from superhooks. You can also register a webhook URL. So let's go over to console.hookdeck.com, which is something like request bin. It allows you to send arbitrary HTTP requests to be captured by the Hookdeck console. And we'll put that in there as the webhook URL to be registered. Once that's registered, you can see we can either view or delete. We won't delete just now. We'll go in and view the webhook that's been registered. Um, again, at the top, you'll see we can copy the secret. You'll also see that we could delete if we wanted to, but you can also test payloads. So I'll just test the default payload. We can go back over to the console and we'll see the payload received. Go back into superhooks just to make sure. and we'll test this different payload. Jump back into the console and we'll see this other payload received. Now back in Superhooks, if I refresh the events list, now the events list is a list of payloads that have been sent to the webhook URL. We'll see the two payloads. The first one doesn't have the additional attribute. The second one does have the additional attribute. There's also an ability to resend the payload. There we go, that's been received. In addition to the Superhooks template providing the ability to trigger these test webhooks from the dashboard, it also comes with a demonstration of an integration with Superbase database webhooks. So if we head to superbase.com and go to the dashboard and then Superhooks, what we'll see within databases is that a trigger has been created to manage something called product updates on a table called products on insert, delete and update. Now, if we head to the table editor and go to products here, you can add and edit products. Doing so will trigger a database webhook for the superhooks user associated with the owner ID column within the products database table. That will result in outbound webhooks being triggered for any webhooks registered for that user within Superhooks. So let's make an edit and change the stock count value. And that will trigger a database webhook for the user in Superhooks associated with that owner ID. I can then go over to Superhooks, refresh my events. And I can see there's an additional event being added. This time it's a product update showing this book product with a stock count of 40 with a previous value of 35, which represents the change that we made to the database. So the point of this template is to give you everything you need within an Next.js application to add outbound webhooks so you can deliver webhooks to developers using your product. That includes dashboard functionality, utility functions, and also an example of integrating with Superbase database webhooks to trigger scalable outbound webhook events. Please get in touch if you've got any questions about Superhooks, raise an issue on the GitHub repo, or a pull request if you've got additional functionality that you're looking to see that you'd like to contribute. Thanks again and good luck adding outbound webhooks to your Next.js applications.